Cizal is a charming Pueblo Mexico located in the Gulf of Mexico just a one hour drive from the city of Merida. In this video we're going to show you why we love to explore Mexico off the beaten track and we're going to take you with us to a beautiful wedding at a luxury oceanfront villa. Alright so Giovanni and I just arrived in Cizal. So far it's very little it seemed completely untouched by like the tourist masses um, which we love we love when towns are like preserved as they are oh what is this oh giovanni has dug himself right into the beans already i mean that giovanni loves beans you mean them a bean no that's rude <laughs> Apparently, I don't know how to eat fish in a taco the correct way, so Giovanni is going to show you how to do it right. This is my technique. I don't know if everyone else's technique. So basically, you grab your tortilla, pinch a little bit of meat, put a little bit of pickled onion, probably tomato, roll your tortilla. And, and, and you chuck it in your mouth. The whole thing at one time. <laughs> <laughs> so the lunch that we just had over here was very good and also guys let's just talk about the price all right we paid 135 155 pesos in total if you were to have the exact same thing in playa del carmen cancun tulum i don't know giovanni how much would you pay for that wow Over i would say i would say the very least 250 pesos yeah like at least and the reason for that is because those places along the Riviera Maya are so commercialized and they, they cater for tourist prices whereas Cisal is fortunately still a local tourist destination so you're getting local prices. Don't be the trash, you throw the trash. Exactamente. Please. Por favor. Vamonos. Let's go. Something that I really like and we actually haven't seen at all yet in our travels around the Yucatan Peninsula is such massive beaches and the reason that the beaches are still so massive is because this place is still so untouched and there aren't developments and beach clubs and restaurants and all of that kind of nonsense all scattered along the beach yet so you've got like really raw beautiful beaches If you're looking for a beautiful and quiet beach getaway in the Yucatan Peninsula, Cizal is the perfect town for you. This over here is our hostel and that over there, just a few steps away, is the beach right there. You may be wondering where we ended up finding a place to sleep for the night, which by the way we have, which is great. Um, we're staying in a hostel and like I have a little bit of experience kind of backpacking, but this is Giovanni's very first experience. Do you have anything to say about your first experience in a hostel? You know, I'm a, a little bit apprehensive with my privacy, but I mean... It's part of the experience. Yeah, We've got a kitchen. Welcome to the kitchen. And you have lockers for your belongings. Yeah, we've got lockers. Wow. Look at that. And I'm going to show you guys. We've got a mirror. And we've got a bathroom. Something a bit strange is that there's no um, toilet seat. But I mean, we can live with it. We've also got a shower. Very basic. The actual reason that we decided to come down to Cecil is we have got a friend named Brooklyn, Angie, who we actually met on YouTube quite a few months ago and we've been in contact ever since then and they are getting married tomorrow. In here a, in Cecil. Yeah, in a beautiful villa here in Cecil. So that's why we're here today. Thank you guys for bringing us out here because it's beautiful. One of the, the things here on their wedding is like it's going to be kind of in the other side of the town and there are no taxis here. The only way of transportation for the locals 
we call mot moto taxis, which is a literally a motorbike and a tricycle together. Wedding, but she says us if we want to come spend some time with him, we're more than welcome to. Like before the wedding, so we're like, okay, cool. Um, when we came down to Sissel, Giovanni and I didn't rent a car because we never rent cars. We always just <laughs> use the public transportation and taxis and Uber if it's an option. But none of them want to take us. They're so like, no, it's raining. The road is very like, like bad and yeah. So um, I don't know. We're still <laughs> thinking about hopefully it doesn't rain again and hopefully have uh, we get on time. And drive. Exactly, exactly. We've also got this big bag that we're carrying. Well, anyways, we're walking there, oh, no. so wish us luck. We have walked like a hundred meters. Yeah, it's been a hundred meters, guys. Potholes everywhere. Potholes everywhere, you're right. Hi! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, you're so cute. Do you think Ted would like a brother? Uh, no. Guys, we're really like going in the, in the wilderness here. Oh, look how beautiful they are. Oh, look at this. Wow. Look at this. Oh my gosh. There are honestly like over a hundred flamingos back there. Like unfortunately we don't have a long enough, a long enough lens to show. We don't have a telephoto. You would need a telephoto lens to see them. They're that far away, but we just see little pink spots and it's amazing. Like honestly, there must be maybe even these 200 of them right now. This is one of the reasons why we keep highlighting walking the streets in Mexico. It's because you can find so many wonders. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. don't always take taxis. I promise you, walking is like rough sometimes, but yeah. like absolutely worth like all of the gems that you find. Yeah. There's actually a, like a classic Mayan house, and you actually will see them in these small towns in the Yucatan Peninsula. Maybe maybe a hundred years if. Wow! If I can judge, one kilometer later, I haven't found any moto taxi available, uh -uh. so we keep walking. Now I can understand why this guy doesn't want to take a look at this. <laughs> I actually don't think I would get through this right now with all of the water. Look what they found, guys! Don't have anything living in it. Hmm? I think it's just sand. If Simone doesn't find dogs or animals, she found something from she the ocean. Look, but look how nice. She sells seashells on the seashore. She sells seashells on the seashore. Well, I just, I did my best, eh? Oh, no. Got to cross? Okay. Cross, I'm cross? I'm going to do a otherwise I'm definitely going to fall. Oh, no. My shoe is absolutely wet now. Based on Google Maps, we have walked at least half, oh, shit, <laughs> half of the, halfway through. I'm absolutely blown away at how green it is here, guys. Like, the... The forest, I think you would call it a forest, is so lush. It's just absolutely blossoming. It's amazing to see. And it also makes us think of like the entire Riviera Maya, where Cancun Playa and um, Tulum are, and how they've destroyed the natural environment there, guys. And this part of Mexico is still untouched, thank goodness. Hopefully it stays this way. Yeah. I was like... Giovanni just got bitten by this thing. Oh, oh! Oh, guys, I don't know if you can see on this camera, but Giovanni might die. Hey! No, 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 you're not gonna die. No, I don't you're wanna gonna die. You're gonna be fine, no, I don't want you to die either. <laughs> we're finally seeing some villas up ahead of us here, so we're hoping that we're very close. Wow, I do not know who lives there, but wow. Okay, yeah. I think this is the one. <laughs> I think we found it. I think we made it. How do you feel about yourself? There's people there for Very sure. Funny. Yeah. Okay, I think we found it, but I don't see any cars here. Yeah. I don't know. We're actually in Manu Bacho. That's why I'm speaking right now. Because we made it. We made we it. We found the right house. There was a lot of mosquitoes. I got beaten by an insect. But it, yeah. was, it was green ass. You're not dead yet, though. So yeah, I'm not dead yet. I am the furthest thing from a makeup. Experts, as you can probably tell, but we try. 
considering we walked six kilometers or more, or more <laughs> through the rain, through the mangroves. I mean, this is as good as you're gonna get. The weather and the sunset literally couldn't be any better. Like we've got a rainbow behind us. Like the sky is on fire. Like look at that, guys. We used to live in the Caribbean, and the sunsets were amazing. amazing. But, but this, this is, one, yeah, this is, is this is the best sunset the best. I've ever yeah. seen in my life. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. And the uh, and the camera cannot capture what a human eye. Oh uh, yeah, see. I mean yeah, it's still beautiful, but guys, that like three-hour walk through the mangroves was absolutely worth it for this. We're wow. tired. My heels are hurting me. My back is sore. Yeah, We're so it's... old, but absolutely worth it. Oh. It is the morning after Brooklyn's wedding and guys let me just tell you it was an absolutely gorgeous wedding and that sunset was insane brooklyn i'm so happy that you had that as the backdrop to your wedding like wow also we got to stay in the villa last night which is absolutely phenomenal this villa is amazing we hope that you guys enjoyed today's video if you did give us a big thumbs up and considering hitting that subscribe button because this is what we share we share our life and travels around mexico um yeah i think that's all so we will see you yeah. in the next one hasta, hasta luego, luego.